Hi, gang. It's Violet. Alchemy Divine Arts. Today I want to talk about the Hanged Man card. Here we have the Universal Fantasy Tarot. And the Hermetic Tarot deck. Spirit of the Mighty Waters. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mary Hansen Roberts, your friend and mine. Dame Darcy deck. And, boink, Mother Peace. All right. Hanged Man. This is reversal, sacrifice, and offering of your time and energy for the greater good. You need to think about things differently, deeper. Your brain is down at the bottom, you know? The feet are reaching up to heaven. Is this Prometheus? Did he steal fire and give it to the mere mortals? Yes. So here comes Zeus's eagle. It's gonna fuck you up. It's gonna drag him off and eat his liver every day while he's tied to a rock. Whatever, it was worth it. Sacrifice. A little serpent there kind of holding on to him. Looks a little bit like a falcon or a phoenix oh and speaking of falcon like horus right horus and odin both had a vision sacrifice they sacrificed an eye they both had one eye that was sun and one eye that was moon and they both gave up their eye now Odin gave up his eye to the giant Mimas in order to drink from the well of everlasting wisdom. So, you know, there was a little selfishness in there. But maybe afterwards he felt kind of bad. So, you know, he went to Yggdrasil and he offered himself up and he hung there for three days. Nine branches, nine roots connecting to the nine layers of of the, the spirit world. And over here we have the hanged one and female. I'm thinking about like female in mythology who hung, Inanna, went into the nine layers of the underworld. And she hung for three days from a hook in the abyss, uh, waiting to see which one of her two lovers could handle her her quest enough to come and uh, check her out. You find out more about that later. But interesting though. Okay. Another thing about Odin and hanging from the yew tree. But he was there and he was kind of in and out of consciousness and he looked deep within and looked down and saw a series of sticks in different formations which became the runes. So the Norse runes are divination with sort of symbols and small lines etched in wood, stone, bone, clay, blah, blah. But there's there's much about the hangman in other cards where there is a tree and a body of water. So there's like a reflection going on. So although these are not directly in the traditional image I have in my head, I still feel like it is you are suspended. Don't suspend doubt. Suspend belief. You must be willing to sacrifice some beliefs for the greater good, for your greater good, for the greater good of others. And that time alone, take a few days, go into your shit. It is hot out there in the world. And I mean that in many ways. There's a lot of fire going on. 
So we need to be grounded and keep it cool. Just keep it cool, eat popsicles, do what you need to do, okay? But The Hanged Man is, is beautiful, you know? The story of Jesus and sacrifice and so much about the, the tarot and the major arcana, minor arcana as well, but major arcana, especially in thinking about numerology, we have, this is a 12 that adds up to three. The first three is the Empress. Divine, Mother, Gaia, Earth, fertile, pregnant with life and bounty energy. That is to bring birth into the world. Once the birth is in the world, the next three has to do with, I want to protect this world and make it a better place. You got to think about what you're willing to give up, okay? Next card in the tarot is death. You've already accepted what needs to be given up in your spirit, whatever, depending on the placements, depending on where you put these, what deck you use, how you relate to the symbology, your experience with the cards, whatever. But there's some basic tenets of truth. Sacrifice something of yourself and your beliefs for the greater good and trust your most intuitive highest self for it. Okay, I love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Meow.